some cards on the mind of Rittenhouse today. I look at him and I feel a mixture of fear and just that stubborn, you know, how do you even put it? That, that, that he is justified in whatever he did. Okay. Fear are the consequences coming now, but just that hard edge, just stubborn, you know, white, white BS. Okay. Not a good feeling. So what's in the mind of Rittenhouse today? Yeah, worried about the justice system. What's coming? Okay. What's coming? The higher power. Okay. You should worry about the higher powers, what he's done. Challenges facing loss. Yeah. He's losing more than he's gaining. He thought by doing this, he's going to gain status. You know, I'm the big man, okay? But he's not getting away with it. He's losing more than he's gaining. Hence that sense of fear. But he's still got that bravado back there, okay? Conscious thoughts? Yeah, what's coming? Emotional upheaval way he sees himself, yeah, this is moving one direction or another today, okay? He's in the midst of a transition, but what's it going to be? Okay. Subconscious thought, yeah, like I said, he went out there, he did it. He went out there with the conscious thoughts of being the big man, okay? The energy surrounding it, people are thinking about the family, okay? He's a young guy, his family. Hopefully, they're thinking about the families of the people that he killed, okay? Above it, yeah, he went there, stinky fish. Need I say more, okay? Okay, underneath of it, foundation is about strength. I think that the families that he killed are having to have strength through this trial. Okay. In the past, temperance was thrown to the wind. Okay, so I'm going to check that. I'm going to check these. Hierophant, facing the loss, moving, stinky fish, strength. Yeah, under the strength in the family, this is his family, okay? Because what I'm getting is the negative. It's spinning this way. It's spinning this way. So the negative you know, it's all the nonsense that he grew up with. This white supremacist crap now has got him where he's at. Temperance. Skewed. Skewed to the dark. I have the temperance that's skewed to the dark. Okay. Hopes and fears. Uh, I see that as, as the, the fear is going to jail. The big house, yeah. The big house on the hill with bars. Yeah. Definitely, it's, it's definite on that, the fear of that. Short term, we're going to have the light on the subject. So let's see what this is. Short term. looking at it, but it's skewed, okay? So, yeah, it's skewed. 
what his uh, lawyers put out there is skewed. End point is we have, it was an abuse of power. It was an abuse of power. Okay. Skewed. Skewed. Yeah, an abuse of power. Skewed. So he didn't go there to just protect himself. Okay. That's not what it was about. And he knows it. That's in his mind. He knows that it was not just to protect himself. Okay. So he's lying to the people. His lawyers are lying to the people. And, uh, yeah, trying to pull a fast one, get him off. He's, he's going to be convicted, but uh, I don't know if he's going to get the full punishment that he should. You know, he should be in there for life. If not a death sentence. Because he went there with the intention to cause trouble. Okay. He went there with the intention to cause trouble. <clears throat> okay. And it's part of it is his upbringing, the family life. You know, be a strong man, stand against the, the, the blacks, stand, you know, that type of thing. That's what he grew up with. Okay. That's what it's saying. The strength of the family was this negative, negative spin. Okay. A fallacy. Okay. So that's a sad situation, but he's done what he's done. And you can't blame your parents, you can't blame your background on it. This was the action you chose to do. You know, um, many of us grow up in a household that's racist and we don't go out there and kill people. We see that it's absolutely wrong. And it's the last thing we want to do is be, be like that type of a person. Okay. People are people. Okay. I don't care if you're red, yellow, you know, brown, black, white, doesn't matter. People are people. Everybody's got the same emotions, wants the same things in their life. Just to have a good life and get ahead and be able to enjoy, have their children enjoy their families. For Pete's sake, what is wrong with people? To, to put this thing over people that they're evil because the color of their skin or whatever. I mean, just it's, it's so heinous and just absolute fallacy. And how low of a person do you have to be to have to project that onto others to, to make yourself feel important. Okay. So I'm going to leave this here, love and light. I'm going to go back and see what they, they do with this guy. Um, you know, I feel that he should get the full extent of the law, really, um, with having his feelings and stuff. But, you know, there is a bit of very small seed state of the way he was raised in that white supremacist attitude of BS, okay? Um, but it doesn't excuse one's actions, okay? And he can sit there and still have that I'm right type attitude. You can't tell me I'm right and then be in fear mode at the same time for what's coming, okay? So I'm going to leave this here. Love and light. See you online.